In today's episode of I am the most crappiest vlogger ever Y'all I forgot to bring a spare battery Even though this battery full I forgot to bring a spare one And okay that's that Y'all I freaking hate this I have the alien screen top for my Jeep it, it looks weird I feel like I look weird Am I bright? No Okay Anyway so yeah I had the top off my Jeep But like you can't tell because of the screen Which is supposed to block out the sun which is a plus, but it is like a a cloudy day, so it ain't really no sun. It's just, it feel good out here. So I was like, let me take advantage because it been way too hot to do this. And I need to hurry up because yeah, we got one better. So we are about to go to the gym today and work our back. So I was like, let me record this back workout. So um, for pre-workout today, because I didn't bring no pre-workout or no BCAA, I haven't tried this yet, so I wanted to try this Mountain Dew Rise, the uh, Peach Mango Dawn. I'm just not noticing that it is not zero calories, it's 25 calories. And I'm so mad at myself for not bringing that battery. I better be able to get this whole workout because this just don't make no sense. I literally bought three batteries so that I won't ever have to worry about this. And y'all, this memory card got eight minutes on it. So y'all know what that means? I hate this for me. I gotta go home. <laughs> it's either that or y'all won't get this video. So I guess if y'all see this video, y'all will know. I'm just gonna go home. We just, why not? I can't believe I went all the way back home for a memory card and battery for y'all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope y'all do this damn workout. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the workout that we're doing. So this is a back workout focused on our back. And it's just a tiny bit of biceps in there with the bicep curls. I will have the sets and the reps on each exercise. But this is an overview. And we're just going to jump right in it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is the barbell row. And I did not tell y'all my weights or nothing because y'all need to be worried about yourself. No, but for real, you want to make sure. So you see how I have 10 reps in three sets. You want to make sure that the weight is changed challenging enough by the time you get to that eight and that nine rep you barely can make it but you made it um so yeah you choose the weight that's good for you so what i'm doing is i'm doing underhand because i like how it targets um more of the middle and lower back it does target the top back too or the the upper back but it's the um underhand sorry is really good for like the lat area and like uh the lower part of the back i hope that makes sense y'all i do not know the muscular terms but why my ass should be reading my little training books but anyway guys i did uh three sets of this at 10 reps and when you pull up you really want to squeeze and feel those muscles firing up in your back and i like to hold that last rep just to feel it a little bit more so the second exercise is going to be single dumbbell rows and same thing y'all this is not slowed down or sped up so I like to make sure I feel the tension right up in that back on the side of the arm that I'm using so right up up there you want to like squeeze uh squeeze uh like when you lift it up that muscle up there you want to make sure you're engaging it and squeezing it and this is just the other side to show you guys so I drop my dumbbell as far like full range of motion and I pull it up right to about the breast and you just really want to feel the muscles in your backs engaging and squeezing and like firing up you want to feel it in the back even though your arm holding that dumbbell you don't really want to feel it in the arm because this is a back exercise so you definitely want to be feeling this in your back All right, so moving on, you guys, we are doing lateral raises. So you can't really see from this angle, which I, which is why I shoot it in different angles, but I have a slight 
bend in the elbow area my arms are not straight out and you're gonna feel this in like the shoulder and right at the top of your back which is like the deltoids I think or the delts that's where you're gonna feel it and this lot this weight is pretty light as you guys can see I'm using a 7.5 pound dumbbell because the upper body strength ain't there and really them shoulders you gonna feel it in the shoulders y'all can see my arm um, contracted in the front part but again this is more shoulder and delts exercise and I ain't got the strength there so that's why you got these 7.5 dumbbells but that's okay like I told y'all y'all use the weight that's good for y'all and again I'm just showing you guys Okay, so this is that little sprinkle of bicep that I threw over there. So this is 12 reps, um, and this is just a bicep curl. Nothing else to say. I um, think bicep curls are like one of the most simple, straightforward exercises ever, um, and they hurt like hell. So on my back days, it's not really many bicep exercises that I know about. You kind of use your biceps when you're working your back. Um, the bicep curl is just a go-to when I really just want to target the biceps, and it's called a isolation exercise, so it's not doing anything but those biceps so there you go Okay, another exercise I feel like all of you are familiar with, especially when it's back day, this is a lat pull down and this is a wide grip lat pull down um, where you place your hand placements does have an effect on what muscles that you're working, but I prefer the wide because it's just getting more of the back. Um, and again, this was a light weight, y'all. I had it on 70. I usually be up in the 80s. I've even done 100. So I, I, the weight is light, but I'm feeling, you know, what I got going on. Then I just up the reps, which is why I did 15 reps for this exercise. And now we have the seated row, same thing. I kept the weight really light so that I could do more reps and it's 15 reps. So when you pull this back again, you wanna feel it in your back. When you pull it back, yeah, feel it in the back. You should not feel a lot going on in your arms. You shouldn't feel no tension in the chest. It should really just be that back. You're gonna let it go and when you pull it back, you squeeze. If you guys can see again, not going super fast, nothing is slowed down here. This is my real life rhythm and tempo that I'm using in these clips right here. Let the weight go in and wait, sorry y'all. That was, I was finishing that rep. Okay, in, pull it out, hold, in, Pull it out, hold in, pull it out, hold. As you can see, most of the power behind the exercise is when I'm pulling it back and contracting my back muscles while doing so. And now we have a wide a grip pull up. Pull ups are great for the back. Um, the reason this is wide grip because as again you can see that my hands are farther apart versus using the handles that are closer to the middle. And again, this is just more of that lat kind of pull and tension that you're getting. I do like the other pull ups with the ones that's like close in front of you. Um, but I didn't do any to show y'all. But anyway, this is extremely hard for me. I'm using the assisted pull up machine, but that's why y'all see eight reps. Cause baby, oof, a pull up just ain't, mm -mm, it ain't it, but it's really good to target the back muscles. And last but not least, you guys, we are doing delt flies. So delt flies are like pictorial flies. Um, and that's just when you turn the other way around and you're targeting your chest. But since we're doing the back and this is gonna be the upper back, it is the deltoid muscles. And it's kind of just like the lateral raise, except for it's a machine. Um, and this, y'all, my arms should have been a little more uh, like 
angled like when I did the lateral raise but hey this is another reason why you film so that you can critique your form and you know I had to look get a little tight a little tight if you guys are still here thank you so much for watching these videos let me know if you guys would like any other gym related workout type videos check out other videos from me here on the screen and I'll see you guys in my next video